Yep. What's up, people? So, uh, Professor Rai here. This will be how I will be doing my tutorials. So, if I'm showing you guys how to do something, I'll be here as your liaison. All right? So, let's get into it. So, to start off, we are going to start with the pricing. Now, pricing changes depending on what store you go to, what venue you buy it from, from Amazon to Michaels to yada, yada, yada. So, it's kind of tricky. So now we have all the paints here, all two ounces. We have our water. Okay, so first real initial test. With these white pieces of leather on the top part, I sanded it down to expose it from the material the bottom part of this sheet is the natural leather with the sealant on it and the bottom piece is just the back piece where it's all raw material. So what I did was I took each individual paint and I brushed it down line by line to kind of see which ones were thicker than the other and we're going to see how thick these paints are. Now the thickness of the paint is important because it'll tell you how much you need to apply when it comes to adding coats. The thicker it is, the less coats you'll need, the thinner it is the more coats you'll need, but they also work in your advantage in different ways. And these are the results so far. Step two, which red is the purest red? A pure red, a red like these Nike boxes. So that's what I'm aiming for. And here are the full results, just kind of give you an idea of which reds were the best if you're looking for a pure red like the Nike boxes. Up next is a durability test. Now with this test, what we're going to do is we're going to take the leather and we're going to crunch it up and down to see how flexible the paint is. And they all pretty much passed. With acrylic paints, essentially, they all work the same way. It just depends on how watery they are. And if you don't know, acrylic essentially means elastic paint. It wraps around the material. And then the last test for the durability test is to take a pair of scissors and scratch it up, down, left, and right on the leather and see which one holds up better. Tackiness essentially means how gluey the paint is. Now, this is very good. If it's very tacky, it's very good when it comes to sticking and adhering to a material. All right. So that's pretty much it for the results. So let me know what you guys think. You know, I didn't really want to say which one was best because you might be looking for a particular paint. You might need yours to be a little bit more watery to spread better on a softer fabric. Or you might need yours to be a little bit more stronger and tackier and thicker to sit better on a leather like a cowhide. So it depends on what you're looking for. Prices vary. And they also vary based off of what website you're buying it from. So. I can't really say which one's the best, but I will tell you the ones I use the most are, of course, Angelus, that's the standard. Jaquard, Jaquiz, Jaquard, I need to say their name right, honestly. And Apple Barrel, I'm a big fan of Apple Barrels. When it comes to painting by hand, these are my go-to. And you can use these paints as an airbrush paint as well. Just add a medium in between it to make it more airbrush soluble, and you're good to go. So yeah. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Hopefully you guys liked it. I have some more how-to videos and critique videos of this type coming soon. So yeah, make sure to like, follow, subscribe. Hit up on my DMs if you need to reach out to me. Shoot me an email. Till next time, later.